What's up guys, bit of a news update for you all today in today's video. I wasn't actually making a video today, but hey, this has come and popped up. So we're going to take a look at it and see what's going on. We have the golden cape hunt event that Jagex is adding to the game. So golden cape hunt sounds pretty interesting. Let's see what it's all about. There's also something else later on in here uh, about the extended lobby timers or lo like AFK skilling timers and stuff, which we're going to get to as well. So stick around for that. Let's take a look. Jagus accounts recently opened uh, entered open beta. <laughs> this huge this marked a huge milestone towards meeting your requests for a safe and more secured account system to protect your beloved characters. Now it's time to celebrate. We'll be running a special members only event from Tuesday May 30th to Monday June 26th. So this is a long time. Uh, and this is actually awesome. To mark this leap forward in our systems and help even more players discover how to upgrade. Scapers, get ready for the golden cape hunt. So it's kind of similar to the golden party hunt, right? Oh yeah, it literally says, taking inspiration from our golden party hat hunt back in 2021, this special event will see players setting out across Gilinor to earn shards for the new tradable golden cape cosmetic, plus some other lovely bonuses. You won't need a Jags account to earn the rewards, but you'll kickstart your hunt for the golden cape dramatically by switching to a Jagex account prior to our, uh, prior to or during the event. Let's take a look. Okay, cool. So, um, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. So, the golden cave hunt. Let's see. It looks pretty cool. It pretty much looks exactly like a golden pie hat. It's the same textures and stuff. Um, but it's on a cape. But it's got the little, like, jiggity stuff here as well. So, it's definitely similar to that. Set off on a journey across RuneScape to earn eight shards and trade them in for your golden cave cosmetic. Keepsake keys and a special event buffs. Eight of the tasks are completely gameplay based with two additional tasks that offer alternative ways to get shards. One is a thank you to premium members and the other two a uh, shard gift for anyone who uh, makes or has made the jump to the JX accounts. Earn your eight shards and take them to the wise old man at the Grand Exchange uh, to collect your, your rewards and complete the hunt. Okay, so there is of course... 10 in total, just like the Golden Party Hat, you only need to get 8, uh, so you can do, you can get it completely in game, you don't have to be a premium membership, and you don't have to be a Jax account, you can do it all in game, but they'll just give you like quick easy ones to get, uh, if you do already have that, but you can do this by uh, linking your account to Jax account, that gets 2 shards, nice and easy, uh, and then of course you can get the, the combat XP game, uh, artisan XP, gathering XP, support XP, so just playing the game in any way, and the specific um, XPs are going to give you the things. And then, of course, you've got to complete a clue scroll steps. I like that as being one. I don't think that was part of the golden party hat. Maybe it was, uh, but that's that's pretty cool. And defeat any boss for a chance of receiving a shard as well. So it includes both the communities of PVM and for clue scrolling as well. And, of course, the, the community for skillers as well. Uh, complete new foundations murder on the border and a welcome quest to receive one shard too so you can complete quests as well if you want to also do that as well and you haven't already if you've already completed these quests you'll automatically receive your shard upon login so a lot of people a lot of you guys are going to get these straight away then of course you've got purchase one shard directly from nick the trader uh, for 20 million gold or 10k protein items holy crap 25 mil gold sorry or 10,000 protein items guys use the gold do not use 10,000 protein items that's insane that's crazy. That is not worth it. I don't think so anyway. That's holy crap. Anyway, uh, task 10. Earn one shard if you have premium membership. Uh, and of course, you'll, you'll get that. For those of you multiple uh, characters, easy. each character that's added to your JX account will receive the two shards for being part of the JX account system. This is not limited for one. Per Are these going to be tradable, actually? I don't think they're going to be tradable. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. The rewards. Golden keep. Uh, golden cape and keepsake keys the star of the show is of course the golden cape just like the golden pie how this is a limited time tradable art oh, is tradable item uh, you can earn by completing the challenges we listed above guys get your grind on this is going to be bank if you want to do this if you do this on many accounts um yeah you're gonna you're gonna make bank off of this just like people did with the golden pie bat but the sooner you get this the sooner you're gonna make bank off of it as well because the price will be high and then it'll slowly drop down and then it'll balance just like the party hat did as well since this cape doesn't offer any stats like most other item-based capes, we're also including three keepsake keys so you can add it to your cosmetic override uh, collection, plus a couple of items you've always wanted in your fashion state wardrobe. This is cool. So you get a few keepsake keys, you don't have to pay for it. They're not like giving you a free cape that says it's cosmetic only and then saying, oh, you also have to spend money to get a keepsake. They're going to give you that. So that's nice. Of them. Buffs. Completing the hunt will also earn you a couple of gameplay buffs themed around uh, the improved security and convenience features of Jagex accounts. Golden security buff, 5% chance to reduce damage taken. 
by 99%. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Boss timers and rage and high scores will not be updated when the buff is enabled and activates at least once during the kill. In group settings, any player with the buff enabled who also has it activated at least once during the kill will disable boss timer and rage and high score updates for all the players in that group. How long is this going to last for? Golden Consignment provides a guaranteed porter effect which transports large items to the bank when gathered. Okay, these are really cool. Both buffs can be enabled or disabled by the wise old man in the Grand Exchange at any time. The buffs are available to use for 28 days once you complete the hunt. Disabling the buff will not stop the 28 day timer um, that begins once you win the buffs. Okay, so this is badass. This is really, really cool. This is just like a, it's just a nice little treat when you do the fire, isn't it? Uh, but it's not going to affect your, your, your like kill timers and stuff like that. So that's important. I'm glad they've added that. Uh, but this is cool. You can toggle it on and off by the sound of it. Anyway, AFK timer extension for Jagex account holders. That's the next bit, but that's cool. That's the golden um, cape and stuff. And I, I think that's pretty badass. I am looking forward to this. And I think Jagex should run stuff like this more often. Even if it wasn't tradable stuff, having something to do in game, like incentivizing players to play, but having it with this sort of reward system and this grind system, I think is really freaking cool, man. And I think they should do this more often. Just, I, I just do. It gives, like, I'll log in and I'll play through this. And it's, it's if it wasn't, if it, the fact that it's tradable is a bit, like, meh, I guess, but if you're going to do it, like, a lot. But if you do it a lot and it's, like, untradable stuff, and it's just, you just grab it and maybe it'll return in the future, you can rerun it. I, I think that'd be cool. I think it's really cool. Anyway, AFK timer extension for Jagex account holders. For many uh, moons, you've been telling us that you'd love a longer AFK period than the five minutes we have currently. We can now confirm that we are working on updating that, uh, an, up, an update that will give Jagex account holders an extended time in RuneScape. Cool. So they uh, expect this to be ready around August this year. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so you'll probably have to use the Jagex launches for it. Well, that's pretty badass. Over the years, many of you have built quite a collection of characters, so we've recently upped the character limit to from 10 to 20. Uh, we, we know about that already as well. The character page now suggests characters sharing um, your account email address that you have not imported yet. You, you may find some characters you forgot you had. We are working on allowing players to reorder the characters in the Jagex account so your favorites can be top of the list. Cool. Upgrading to a Jagex account, why Jagex account is important. Uh, I don't think there's a, a ton of stuff that I need to do here. What I'll do is I'll link this whole post in the description if you guys want to upgrade to the Jagex account and you need this bit uh, then you can find that here so uh, just just check the description for this post and then you can follow it through like that um, but there's just basically a guide here login invitation information email login verification account name password complete there you go that's pretty much it so that should be all you need to know look at this blog as your questions come in or we have further information to share and that's it it's done so two really big things i guess for this this is really really cool i'd like this event so much um the tradable bit is like the only downside for me i wish this stuff wasn't tradable and then you could just they could just rerun these again and again and again and it wouldn't be a problem and it'd just be cool it'd be like a cool little extra um you'd remove the fomo from it as well if you just remove the the tradable bit and you said like these will be coming back we'll run this like what what this one once a year and then we'll add something else and that'll be like once a year uh, i think that'd be really awesome and i think they should definitely maybe do stuff like that it wouldn't take too long to do they've got all the the, the things set up for it clearly and then they just need to change the reward uh, so i think that's cool and then of course we've got the afk timer extension too which is something people have been asking for for ages which is going to be crazy as well for mobile players uh, and anyone just AFK. It's going to be cool. Definitely. What do you guys think about all this? Let me know in the comments. And uh, other than that, I'll catch you all in the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.